Greetings, Cauldron of Weird. Welcome back. One of my favorite deathcore bands just released new music. Well, a new song. It's attached to a covers EP. This song is called Bury Me in Blasphemy. Super excited. Fucking love Carnifex. They're so goddamn good. They're a lot of fun. I've seen them like seven times now. Sick. Yeah. Let's do it. The Edge Lords of Deathcore. Carnifex. Anna, do, say, go. A hefty title to carry. They are the edge lords of the genre. They really are. Uh, light up pentagrams they have those on stage yeah yeah nice I don't know about you but I feel they're a little satanic nah it's just a star it's just a star who lit all those candles <laughs> I'm going to need to stop looking at me like that. <laughs> Dude, he's playing that guitar so high on his chest, though. Mm -hmm. Was he, like, in the Beatles? Uh... Yeah. yeah. It's, like, all the way up here. Let's well, so we can give it a little kiss. He goes, mm. A lot of people do that for the sake of technicality. Yeah. Yeah, because we... Be a little harder if you're way down here. Say, <laughs> is it creeping you out? Is it too much? It's really creepy. Really staring you down, huh? Or I feel like it's going through my fucking soul. Huh? You haven't been stared at correctly, then. Guess not. It's like a big sword. <laughs> so many strings. Eight strings. Eight strings. Yeah, yeah. Look him go. very good uh, month for nuclear blast. Yes. Looks like they're blasting off again. Hit him. I won't. It was a twofer right there. It was a nuclear blast joke and a Pokemon joke. Damn. <laughs> I was I was half expecting like a bludgeoning to the side of my face. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll go first. Uh, so 
I I will I will not claim to be a Carnifex uh, fan, and I, I I guess I guess to me with with listening to this song, it's very it's very on the point if someone was going to say like metal music. Mm-hmm. Like, like to me, this like if someone was had an idea of what metal music could sound like, they would envision a song like this. And it's not a bad thing necessarily. I just it's, this type is just not my cup of tea. I like. I mean, sure. I, I mean, I it's it's very hard hitting and everything too. Uh, what's the lead singer's name again? Ian. 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 Scott incredible, Rose. incredible hard vocals. I mean, absolutely incredible. It just, it just, it. I, I like technicality a little bit. So it just, it just this, kind of was. This wasn't really one of the songs that really showcased like the skills of the guitarist, though. They have songs that do that. Sure. This, this was. They put this song out, honestly, just so because it's been a while since they put out music. Okay. The last time they they put out an album was remember the last time we reacted to them, mm-hmm. the, uh, like when you and me were starting this out. So yeah, so quite a like while. Twenty sixteen. Yeah. Wow. And they were on this album cycle, and they were like, okay, we know it's been a while since we put something out. There's this song, plus some covers, tied you over until the album comes out in 2019. Okay. Honestly, I do not think this is among their best work. Okay. It's good. It's not among their best. Their okay. last album has featured some of their best fucking songs, though. Okay. I, I mean, I, I would, again, just being on the outside, kind of peering in, it's like, I don't know if this is something you would probably introduce to someone if you yeah. were wanting to get them interested uh, but no, I would go with the one that I showed you, uh, Drown Me in Blood, or no. one of the ones I showed you. I made too many jokes during that video. Yes. Well, pe- we're stupid, so, you know. We still are. What are you talking about? I pissed off a no, lot No, I said we people. are. We are. we are. Yeah. Hmm. We, yeah, we still are. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I mean, I, I think I'll probably give it, I, I think, ooh, pupper. Oh, uh, chill out. <laughs> Yeah, he's over there. It's just Carnifex, man. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to him all the time. Uh, I mean, I'll probably give it a seven. Like again, it's not my cup of tea right there, but I can I can I can see where it's going with it. I can they they seem like a group that will just absolutely melt your face off right there, and I think they have all the potential. But like you're saying, I don't know if this necessarily showcases that, and I don't think no, that it does. Uh, music video, I think I'll probably give it a seven as well. It was pretty. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. They don't really but just go it. a lot with story driven. That's okay. Dog. Yeah. Lay down. So Tyler, I uh. I wasn't completely blown away by the video. And I didn't think I was going to be either. Their other one was way more exciting than this. I'll have to show you Drown Me in Blood sometime. Please do. Yeah. Uh, This one was just, oh, hey, we're in a church and someone having to light a thousand candles. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And now... Stagehand probably really hated his life right there, lighting every fucking one. Fuck. It won't light. (laughs) (laughs) Out of... Out of gas in this one. Ian, and stop screaming. You're blowing the candles out. <laughs> Damn so, it. Sorry. I want to know. know a candle count. <laughs> a lot of candles. No, like every time he blew one out. <laughs> Probably didn't honestly happen that much. <laughs> Dang. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, video, I'll give a seven. Song, I'll probably give a seven, too. It's all right. It didn't blow me away, though. Yeah, I like I said, I don't think this was the most showcasey song. I definitely think Drown Me in Blood is one of their best, like, I'm going to introduce you to this. Or maybe Lie to My Face. or Okay. Um, Six Feet Closer to Hell was a pretty good one that we did a long time ago. Um, they, they just have, they have a long, like, catalog of music. And this wasn't among the best to, to start off with. Okay. Um trying to think i think as far as the song goes i'll give it an eight but of course i have a very biased opinion especially when it comes to carton effects okay um i really like carton effects and honestly if you really want to see what they can do you need to see them live okay that's how i was introduced to them was i saw them opening up for white chapel in like 2014 at, that had like, been a hell of a show. Oh, fuck. So people on top of each other and... Just, yeah. It was nuts. But very good live band. Video, yeah, I think the video gets like a seven for me. It's not overly exciting. It was cool to see the stage props they had been using, though, in the video. Yeah. I did like that. Um, 
All right, so I think we'll wrap it up here because we have one more to do before I can watch football. Hooray! <laughs> so that'll be the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Check us out on Facebook, on Conjure of Weird, on Instagram at Sea of Weird. Check out Bryant, who's not here because he's a cuck. <laughs> Count Cuckula. Count Cuckula. Ragtime Roast Beef on Twitch.tv. Um, check out Chris and Bryant. On the same channel, Booty Beef Show. When schedules permit, they will be playing Final Fantasy. While you laugh your dicks off. While you laugh your dicks off at Bryant getting mad at Chris. <laughs> well, see, it's ironic because I'm playing. So now he's the backseat driver being the dick. Excellent. Yeah. Great. Excellent. So you don't have to worry about me dying. Also, check out our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash sea of weird. I think the satanic night jar might be a I good think it's a very, for this very one. fitting, do very it, fitting. Do it, do it. Satanic night jar. All right. So, we'll see you see next you time. Bye.